and we are here filming our new documentary. Team 1311, a day in Kel Robotics. We're here with Kel Robotics and we're going to be working on our robot. This is what we've got so far. This is like the CPU and then this is our remote or the thing that gets the signals from their remote control and this is supposed to be everything that makes the robot work. Are you sure you're getting all that right, in the so, uh, I got like It's tools? Five. Wrenches? Socket wrenches? Uh, what do we need? Do we need American yeah. or metric? I'm dead. American. Okay, American. I work. Miring his wonderful... Did he work on the job? Well, that, that's... Don't disturb all the time. That's why we had to spark the fire yesterday. He's just sitting there. He's so cool. Gently, 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 gently. Do you know which ones they are? Okay. Uh-oh. Dude. This wrench is too small. You don't want that. Where are we yeah, no. Why are we Wait, is it big enough? Sure that's the right size. I don't know. You find. No, 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 it's not the right size. Just use this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let me let hold me hold see. Let me see. Dude, it's not the right size. I have the feeling right, so we're not like supposed to be drilling these in. No, we're, no, we're, we're not. We're taking them out. We had a fire yesterday on it, so. Okay. The wiring was wrong. Socket. Yeah, wrong wiring. What happened Stop yesterday that you're, do, that you're doing all this work for? The fans were turned around wrong, and they sort of went kaboom. <laughs> yeah, kaboom was fun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Too bad we don't have any footage. you have to redo everything. Whoa, whoa, give me this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I just want to go backwards. Yep. This is a Cal Robotics tool rack. This is where all of our supplies come from that we need to work on the robot. And our trusty coat hanger. And our can crusher. I'm about to crush can. It's a can crusher. Can goes in. Barbara, you own the so it's here's the person that comes out. Okay, fuck it. That was the robot from last year at work. Okay. Our programming. The old robot with the new code. Okay. Talking about that robot being Okay. So we so far are good on these four blocks right here. This one takes the first button, the second button, the button, the next button. So whichever button is yeah. pressed is going to change the state. When I was your age, I did join enrollment in college when I was going to high school. And they'd sit down in front of the thing that looked like a giant typewriter, a typewriter about the size of that whole robot. And you type, and it would take a little piece of paper and punch holes in it. And so you could punch up to 80 characters in a big card. So every line of code that you see in that text would be a paper card. So this entire program would be like a big box of paper. And you feed it in this big machine, and if you drop the box on the floor, you're in trouble because everything went everywhere. <laughs> It'd be like taking this whole file and just scrambling it. <laughs> okay, here we go. That way. I mean, if you had something to hit it, yeah. whatever I was trying to see how far. So, 
this so, the, so we can have a higher tank pressure and then I think like the this. tanks the uh, the uh, solenoid stops the yeah, compressor at 90 pounds but your output is supposed to limit it to 60 pounds right yes we all need glasses everyone needs glasses yeah or you need it mainly what we're doing here is we're trying to get this is just a little testing Here's phase here this. we're trying to get this piece of cardboard to be ours as a little pusher and we're going to have this push this over the large ball and hopefully we'll get it to go somewhere. Okay, that's good. Sounds like a good plan. All right, what we decided, instead of doing a normal punch upwards, which would cause it to bounce up and maybe clamp back down, we decided we're going to go with an angle. The way this works is instead of punching it straight up, which is going to pop it straight up. Like so. Like so. We're going to add an angle. So when we hit it, it goes that way. I thought that was the entire idea. Right, I gotta go. Um, cool. Put that to there. This goes to these, and then this goes to a switch. Okay. What switch? Like a solenoid, a pneumatic solenoid. You probably don't know that. I wish you were here, but I'm on the guys from Lloyd. And guitar from Kurtz. And I have the whole thing on the phone. I have my house. Hold this going directly into that? Yes. Yeah, what were you thinking? I can still do the What's going on? Zero. See, it's zero. Those valves are set up. I think there's a solenoid here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're popping off. We're completely... Okay, so this is the first day of recording at Kel Robotics. Yeah. Didn't get much done because we had so many people compared to normal days. I mean, that's very unusual. Usually, usually we here. usually have six or yeah. seven. Today we had 15. And also, another thing that's unusual, people are actually seem to be here still. It's very weird. Usually we would ask people to leave. It's time for us to leave. So, goodbye and join us next time.